Now let's take a look at creating and accessing databases using Hiarx Chess Explorer. The screen as we see it now is pretty much how Hiarx will look when you load it up for the very first time. So we want to create a new database to work from. And the simplest way to do that, just go up to File and click on New. This brings up the screen where you get to choose the name of the new database. Generally speaking, all you'll have to do is type in the name that you want to save this database under. It can be anything, uh, it's usually a good idea to save it so you'll know what sort of games you've saved in that database in the future. But for now, we'll just call it My Games. That's probably all you'll need to do, but just uh, for reference, this is saying where you've saved that database to. It's saving it to the Databases folder, which is in your documents. This is the default location, so you shouldn't need to change that, but it's always a good idea to know where you're saving your databases to especially if you want to back them up in the future. And also, we've mentioned before the format of the databases, PGN, meaning Portable Game Notation, uh, a universal standard format for chess databases. But anyway, we've cho chosen the name, My Games, and we click Save. There we go, that's it. The new database has been created. You can see here there's no uh, notation, nothing in the notation pane or in the Game Explorer pane. The reason is we've just created that new database, we haven't entered any games into it yet, and we'll look at that in one of the future videos. To open an existing database, however, one that you've already got on your computer, and several databases come free with Hiarx Chess Explorer, there's a couple of ways you can do that. You can go back to the file menu here and click on Open, or you can simply just use this icon, the Open Database icon. So let's do that now, that brings up the Open Database window. You're in the databases folder already, and here's some of the databases you've got on your computer that come free with Hiarx. You can see there's two here that I've created. These ones come free with Hiarx, and these are ones that I've created called My Games, and <laughs> another one called My Games. But let's just look at one of those now. All you need to do is select which one you're interested in. So I'll select here the Fisher Spassky database, click on Open, and there you go. It takes uh, less than a second to, uh, to load on this computer may take a little bit longer than yours and it'll also take longer if it's a bigger database it may take longer to load but they're very quick to use once they've loaded you can see here already the games have uh, appeared in the games explorer window in the games explorer pane should i say and you've also got the notation of the selected game uh, you can play through these games and um, you can select all the different games in the database using the games explorer pane the final thing worth noting is once you've opened a database for the first time, it will appear in this list of recently opened databases. So you don't actually need to know um, where you've saved it to, although of course that's a good idea, because if you close the databases down that you've opened, go to File menu and open Recent, you'll see here a list of recently accessed databases. Clicking on any one of these will bring that database back. And one interesting thing to note is if you're looking through a particular game, so here we are looking at the fifth game, the Spassky versus Fisher. If we close that database down and then reopen it by going to File and Open Recent, you'll see it actually um, loads up at the last game you were looking at, which is very nice touch. But that's how simple it is to create a new database or to access an already existing database.